save a life virtual. Listen, maybe we can make a deal. We're safety patrollers, man. We went undercover to stop you from wrecking the annual yogurt sale for the future rodeo clowns of America. Now, why would we want to make a deal? Your parents will be here soon. But they wouldn't let me in. My father was a rodeo clown. And my father's father. You don't understand. I couldn't do this if rodeo clowning wasn't in my blood. See? Mm-hmm. Fillmore, when I signed on to the safety patrol, no one said anything about having to dress up like this. Going undercover is part of the gig, Ingrid. Besides, you were good at rodeo clownery. What was your clown name again? <sighs> Daffodil Fillmore. I'll follow the report. You can head home. TGI Wednesday. Generous. Speaking of TGI, big weekend ahead? Saturday morning cartoons, book hunting in the city with my sister and dad. Oh, and getting my Robo Gladiator ready for the competition next month. You? Fishing with the guys, football Sunday with Mom Pa Fillmore, then help with Sunday dinner at Grandma's house. She's teaching me how to make mustard greens this week. Cool. Later, Fillmore. Good job today, Ingrid. Late. Hold up on the goodbyes there, Fillmore. Commissioner Vallejo. First, solid work on getting the yogurt back, people. Second, Folsom wants to see you two. Now. Hey, and Fillmore, not too much salt in the mustard greens, okay? <laughs> you saved the yogurt sale. And you know what? I'm not surprised. Why? Because they told me Fillmore and Third were on the case. Thanks, Principal Folsom. Listen, there's a lot of love in this room, so I'm going with the momentum. We need your help. Every school has a point of pride. For Dumont Junior High, they have their electric tomato mascot. For Jacoby Middle School, their freestyle rap team. We have a lot of things to be proud of. One of them is Dwapi. Dwapi? I read about it in the Examiner. Dwapi is the oldest virtual pet in the country. Right. It's, it's one of those Wama Huzaguchi things. One of our students has managed to keep his alive for four years. Back when everyone and their grandmother had one. And how long do they usually last? Couple weeks, tops. That TV show, More, is planning on doing a segment about it this Friday. But we have a problem. It's missing. Missing? Taken. And if this thing isn't virtually fed or electronically cleaned up after... Listen, if you don't find Dwapi in 24 hours, it's going to Wama Huzaguchi heaven. We can't let that happen. We won't. Good. This is a national TV show we're talking here. And the life of a kid's beloved virtual friend. Mm-hmm, that too. So, whatever you need. How about a name? Raycliffe. The kid's name. The student's name? Everett Conquest. Why, hello. Can I help you? Mrs. Conquest. We're safety patrol officers Phil Moore and Third from Mex Middle School. We're investigating the disappearance of Dwapi. I don't see why you officers should trouble yourselves about Dwapi. Excuse me, Mrs. Conquest? To be frank, Officer Third, I think he's better off without it. For the past four years, my son has substituted real human interaction with a plastic toy. For the first time in his life, he has a friend. Ooh, look, Everett. The unicorns gave you a sparkle apple. Move three spaces. Isn't it wonderful? Lorraine and her family have lived next door to us for years. When she heard what happened last night, she brought over a pecan log for Everett. She hasn't left his side since, except for sleep and bathroom breaks. And so, when I got out of my pre-dinner shower, I saw that the window was open. And Wapi was gone. Do you have any enemies? No. I don't even have any other friends. Listen, Officer Fillmore, time is running out. If he hasn't been fed or cleaned up after, he's gonna... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, Twoppy was my best friend in the world. We were always together. You guys know what that's like. We know. We're partners. But you're friends, too. I mean, you hang out, right? Well... Oh, man! I just remembered. Twoppy doesn't have his pajamas. I made them for my handkerchief. It's okay, Everett. They're gonna find him. Can we talk more in a little bit? I think Everett needs a minute. How about some hot chocolate? Uh, okay. Tell me what you got. The perp was prepped. They knew when Everett was going in the shower, and they knew where Dwapi was. They jimmied the window open, and were in and out in 10, 15 seconds tops. Right between Everett's rinse and repeat. Speaking of soap, the place is clean. No prints, no leave behinds. What's next? The perimeter around the house. Ow! You okay? Yeah. Thorn bushes after dark. Lots of fun. Back to it. Hello! What have we here? What is it? 
a clue. Oh, yeah, sure. This is the Happy Cat Head Crowbar in this year's Pink Joyful Smiley Heaven Motif. Big seller, quality crow. Do you have any sort of record of who purchased one of these in the last six months? Oh, heck, no, sir. We move about five cases a week, and it's paid mostly in Happy Cat Head Kitty Bank change. Dog. Sorry about that. Let's go. Hey, you two. Did you check the address book? Yeah, killer combo, sturdy crowbar, and flexi address book. Happy Cathead did it again, eh? Boy, they sure did, yeah. Disco. I've got to get one of those. With this address book, we're one step away from finding Duapi. It's on, Ingrid. What? Looks like somebody doesn't want us to find Dwappy. And that somebody was in the stampede. It was a blur. They got the crowbar, the address book, and our best bet for finding Everett's electronic pal. Not entirely. What? I didn't see who our new playmate was, but I did see them grab the crowbar. As soon as Happy Cat had flashed in front of my eyes, I reached out and got this. It's blank. Not for long. Anything? Nothing. Nothing. The last number on the address is cut off. Two choices, 5775 and 5773. One or the other. Play it like we're looking for someone who knows something about Happy Cathead. For now, let's keep Dwappy on the down low. Buenos dias, people! How can I help you? We're conducting an investigation that requires a knowledge of Happy Cathead merchandise. Do you know anyone who could help us? Well, see, my friends here and I are really partial to Spanish stuff. And I'm not even sure what a Happy Cathead is. Mis apologias. That means, I'm so sorry. Nobody home, and the clock is ticking. Looks like we wait. My sister collects pictures of mailboxes. This one looks cool. Man, I didn't know you had a sister, Ingrid. I should've. Huh. You have any sibs? Nope. Got a dog. A good one. I should've known that. You know, since you drafted me into the safety patrol last month, we've been working too hard. Ingrid, this is B. I mean, we should really hang out more. We're- Hi, Oz. Can I help you? Hi. We're from the ex-middle school safety patrol. Is this your house? Uh-huh. It's my house. I'm Bianca Bully, ex-middle school cheer captain. Listen, we didn't steal those cheers. They're totally, like, public domain. We're not here about cheers. This might sound a little whack, but do you know anyone who buys a lot of happy cat head merchandise? I don't know anyone at school that still likes happy cat head. No one from class, no one from the cheerleading. Wait. Who is it, Bianca? Lorraine Almaden. How do you know her? She used to be on the cheerleading squad. It's kind of pathetic. She's a happy cat head fiend. Well, hiya, officers. I uh, thought you might be the cheerleading squad again. They're selling fried cheese sticks door to door to raise money for... Mr. Almaden, we're looking for Lorraine. Well, I'm sorry, but she's out with Everett, I'm afraid. But I'm here. What can I do you for, huh? <laughs> Is Lorraine a fan of the Happy Cathead line of merchandise? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, 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 not for a while. Thank you. When did Lorraine give up Happy Cathead? Oh, oh, oh geez. Ah. Ah, just after breakfast. Looks like we found our friend. Or fiend. Disco! I'm home and so's Everett! <laughs> What's going on?
Everett, please. You've got to understand. Where's Dwapi? I don't know. I just always thought he was cute and nice and smart, and he was wasting his life with a toy. So I took it. And then we became friends. What happened to Dwapi? I don't know. I kept Dwapi in my closet. I've been taking care of him. I was going to give him back. I was. But when I went to feed it yesterday, it was gone. And this was left in its place. <laughs> By Dwapi Avenged. Oh, oh. I just want my friend back. That's Everett Conquest. We were to do a profile on his virtual pet named Dwapi, the oldest virtual pet in the U.S. But that's when the story took a very real, very dramatic turn. That's when Dwapi was virtual pet napped. That story was supposed to be something the school would be proud of. You were supposed to find Dwapi. This was supposed to be over. But Principal Folsom, we're... I don't want to hear any more about disappearing crowbars and virtual pet nappers that have virtual pets virtually pet napped from them. You're supposed to be the best. Now go be the best and find Bloppy. Um, it's Dwoppy. <sighs> Talk to the Almaden girl. Anyone else know you had Dwoppy? No. Can I please just talk to Everett? I just wanted to be his friend. I gotta explain it to him. I'm never talking to that girl again. Everett, she made a mistake. She says she was going to give Dwapi back. Why are we wasting time with her? Dwapi is out there. Please, just go find him. You quit the cheerleading squad. And the shopping club. And the gossip team. 411, did you hear likes Filski? Sorry, old habits. Why did you quit everything? It's hard to explain. I was cheering at the pep rally for the curling team a few weeks ago, and I caught my reflection in the ice. I kind of decided that I wanted to be someone else before it was too late. You can do that when you're 12. And that led you to virtual pet napping? Everett always seemed so nice, so smart. And he sort of seemed like he needed to start being someone else, too. And besides, I liked him. And I was fair in love and war. Even rolling a couple of safety patrollers in a ball stampede. What? The ball stampede? In the mall. You swiped the happy cat head crowbar. I thought you brought it here. I don't know anything about a ball stampede. That means, Fillmore, someone came here and put the crowbar back. Look at the busted lattice. Someone went through a lot of trouble to bring the crowbar back. And it looks like that someone was an adult. Or an extremely heavy kid. They went in through the window, but there was no way they came down again. They had to go out the front door. Or not. Mr. Almaden, have you left the house since we took Lorraine away this morning? Nope. Been reading. Right here. Pretty much waiting for Lorraine to come back. Whoop. I've had my hat on the entire day. <laughs> well. And you haven't seen anyone unusual walk through your house today? Nope. We start here. I'm getting out of here. Ow! Both legs. Asleep! You don't understand. I don't have Dwapi. I wish I did. Then I'd flush it or bury it or put it on the hibachi. Tell us what happened. I was at the mall for lobster shell polish. And then I saw you both with the crowbar in the evidence bag. And suddenly I knew it was Lorraine. Wonderful Lorraine. She loves Happy Cathead. She took Dwapi. Nothing personal, Officer Fillmore. But with that crowbar, you were too close to solving the crime. I need a time. Time to save Lorraine from being found out. Time to sneak into her room and get rid of Dwapi forever. But it wasn't there. And then, suddenly, both of you were. I dove into the closet. But I dropped the crowbar when it popped open. And instead of saving Lorraine, I just made it look like she was the one that took the crowbar. You chased her down, and I tried to sneak away. I almost made it out of the house. And then someone decided to try to read War and Peace in one sitting. I'm on page 220. Lorraine was feeding and caring for Dwapi. We still have time. But not much. And I don't think we're going to find the perp in the case files. We're running out of tricks. Hi. Nothing? Officer Third? I wanted to apologize for this morning. I shouldn't have waked out like that. Thanks. 
You know, Lorraine's dad let her go to the curling match tonight. You could talk to her. I'd like to, but I just can't do it. We're going to find Wapi Everett, but that's not going to make it all good. What went down, went down. Lorraine was your first good friend and she made a mistake. Losing a toy is one thing, but losing a friend is something else. It's a powerful thing. It changes you. You might want to think about that. Ingrid, I think I got an angle. Best friends forever. Lorraine quit the cheerleading squad, the shopping club, and all her old friends. Including Bianca, her former best friend. Mr. Almaden said the cheerleading squad had been at their house selling cheese sticks. Disco. Smooth! Smooth! Keep at it, Sally! Keep at it! Everett's a jerk, Lorraine. He should have been grateful. I know if I was a goober loser like him, I would have been. I can't believe... Excuse me, Bianca. We'd like to talk. You mind coming with us? Sure. Um, yes. What's this about? We just need to ask some questions. Fiona! Hold up, love. You forgot your purse. That's okay. Can you hold it until I get back? But it looks so lovely with your uniform. Here. Oh. <laughs> Gee. Make this right, Bianca. Give us Dwabi before it's too late. I knew Lorraine liked Everett. He'd tell your best friends who you like. I knew she took Dwabi. I just knew it. I just split them up. Permanently. Badly. So they would never be friends again. So Lorraine would need a friend. So I took Dwabi. And when I was in Lorraine's closet, I saw her happy cat had crowbar. It was so perfect. I could plan it at Everett's and then you would find her out. Tawapi would be gone forever, and it would be Lorraine's fault. Everett would hate Lorraine, and Lorraine would go back to being my friend. She was my friend, not Everett. <laughs> we were supposed to be best friends forever. I know. We can make friends, and we can break friends. Sometimes those things are in our control, and sometimes they aren't. Like now. Don't do this, Bianca. All of this, it's all because of Everett and his pathetic plastic well, if I don't get my friend back, neither should he! No! Yes. He's gonna make it. Sorry, Bianca. Dwapi lives. Now, with Dwapi returned, it's obvious to the world that this is a school that works. I want to personally thank the Safety Patrol for cracking the case. And so, a very real happy ending for a boy and his virtual pet. Hey, Fillmore. Third. You got visitors. Hi. I wanted to thank you two. We both did. It's what we do, Everett. You don't need to thank us again. Not for saving Dwapi. For helping save me. Last night, I finally had Dwapi back, but I still felt terrible. Like I still had something taken from me. I remember what you said, Officer Fillmore. Losing a friend is a powerful thing. Both of you said I had a real friend in Lorraine. I guess I finally figured that out. Officer Fillmore, I want you to have this. Oh, snap, Everett. Uh, that's okay. Maybe Officer Third might want... What's that, Dad? I can't ever have a virtual pet? Never, ever? Oh, snap. Darn. Good luck. Thanks. Looks like you're going to have a guest for Sunday dinner at Grandma's. Yeah, maybe too. You like mustard greens? Mustard greens by your grandma? Sure. Mustard greens by you? 
I'm not so sure. <laughs> well, you're gonna find out. You told your folks you were bringing your partner? No. I told them I was bringing my friend. And the way this whole Dwappy thing went down. Well, I can see that best friends aren't that easy to find. Ditto. You know what? I'm coming early. You in an apron? This I gotta see. You and you alone. No camera stutter. Wouldn't think of it.